Have you ever tried to navigate through your React app only to hit a wall with an error message? It's frustrating, right? If you've been using HashRouter and are facing issues with programmatic navigation, you're in the right place. Today, we're gonna to solve that problem together. I totally get it. You were using hash history and everything was working smoothly. But now, with the switch to hash router, you're getting that pesky cannot read property push of undefined error. You're not alone in this. Many developers have faced this transition. Here's the specific situation we're addressing. One user recently asked, how do I programmatically navigate using HashRouter now? They were previously using this.props.history.push, but now it's throwing an error. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the solution. So, what's happening here? When you switch to HashRouter, the way you access the history object changes. This can lead to confusion and errors if you're not aware of the new structure. But don't worry, we'll break it down step by step. And stick around. At the end of this video, I have a pro tip that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. To programmatically navigate using HashRouter, the user first needs to ensure that they are passing the history object correctly to their components. This can be done by using the WithRouter higher order component. Next, the user should check that their component is receiving the history prop. This can be done by logging the props in the component to see if history is included. Now the user can use the history prop to navigate. In the handle submit function of the signup form, the user should call this.props.history.push to redirect to the landing page. Finally, the user should test the navigation to ensure it works as expected. They can do this by submitting the form and checking if they are redirected to the landing page. Fun fact, did you know that the concept of routing in web applications dates back to the early days of the internet? It's evolved a lot since then, but the basics remain the same. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user identified that the issue arose because the history prop was not available in signup form JS, as it was not directly rendered by HashRouter. They resolved this by passing the history prop from app.js to signupform.js, allowing them to use this props.history.push for navigation. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always check if your component is properly wrapped in a route when using HashRouter. This simple step can save you from a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to navigate your React app using HashRouter without any issues. Remember, understanding the structure is key. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our bonus pro tip on optimizing your React app.